What's going on everybody? Jem Min here and I'm finally back with another recent reads. This is something that I really wanted to do more of uh, now that I'm doing YouTube full time is read some of my backlog and do some reviews for you guys. Uh, I'm going to do this review spoiler free because there's a new show out on Netflix and I don't want to spoil the show or the book for anybody who hasn't read it. So no spoilers on this one, but we are going to be talking Sweet Tooth by Jeff Lemire. Before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video we are so close to our next subscriber milestone of 125,000, and once we hit it we're going to do a giveaway for this spider-man premium format exclusive by sideshow all you got to do is be subscribed leave a like and comment on this video and stick around to the end i'll give you more details on the giveaway now these deluxe editions are sold out they're out of print but if they do come back in print or if you're looking to purchase collected editions like these you got to check our sponsor cheapgraphicnovels.com they sell them up to 50 percent off great packaging fast shipping and excellent customer service they also have a discount bargain bin where you can get books up to 90 percent off retail price mention this channel and the memo at checkout for your first order and your second order will have free shipping if you're in the u.s so this is a book that I wanted to read for a long time. I've owned these deluxe editions for years, and Jeff Lemire is one of my favorite writers. He actually uh, wrote and illustrated this book. When I saw that Netflix dropped a trailer for this show, that's when I was like, all right, you know what? I really got to read this book before I watch the show. I was actually reading something else. I was getting a little bit dull, so I picked this up, and man, this is one of those books that you cannot put down. Like Once you read it, it just flows so smoothly. Uh, and you just want to know what happened here. So what did happen? Everybody probably has seen this boy with the antlers and wants to know what the hell is going on. Is this a fantasy? It's actually way different than I thought it was going to be. This is a post-apocalyptic world. Basically what happened here, and, and it feels like it hits very close to home, especially with what happened in 2020, but just not as bad. But basically a plague hits the earth. Everybody gets sick and people start dying left and right. They can't figure out if it's an airborne disease or how it's passed, but it hits hard and within months, governments shut down, the internet goes down. At the same time, there's these rumors of these hybrids, these half human, half animal creatures that are being born. Uh, the rumor comes out to be true, and we can see our main character, Gus, who gets the, uh, the nickname Sweet Tooth by a human named Jeopard. So basically, this story is kind of the interaction between this boy and this human who's not his father. It's somebody that comes into Gus's life to save him, and they form this bond, but there's a lot of ups and downs in their relationship. Now, Jeopard gives him the nickname Sweet Tooth because of his love for chocolates, which is a rare commodity in this world where there's nothing new being produced, whatever you find in vending machines or what have you. Now, what's really intriguing about this story is you're wanting to know what caused the plague. How are the hybrids connected? Are they part of the cure? Or are they part of the cause? It's kind of one of those things. And if you're into books like The Walking Dead, or like Why the Last Man, I think it's very much in the, in that vein, similar to Why the Last Man, because you want to figure out what caused this epidemic, and similar to Walking Dead in the sense that the conflict between humans is what, really what drives this story. Now, although this might look like it's something that's for children, I would say it's definitely not. It's pretty violent. There's some adult themes and such, but um, this was a great story. I cannot wait to watch the show to see how they uh, adapt it. Now let's take a look at these books overhead. We'll take a look at the construction of the deluxe editions. We'll flip through to see Jeff Lemire's artwork and coloring, and uh, then we'll wrap it on up. All right, so here's the covers for the three dust jackets. You have volume one, two, and three. You have Gus, AKA Sweet Tooth on the cover. You have Jeopard here. And on this one, you have some of the other animal human hybrids who play a big part in the story. Here we have the Dust Jacket, Sweet Tooth, Deluxe Editions, Jeff Lemire, Volumes 1, 2, and 3. And then here we have the back. So they really show like a lot of this plaid. This is the, uh, the flannel that Gus wears. So he really incorporates this in a lot of like the books you'll see. Uh, but as you can get a little vibe of the artwork here, you can see that kind of grittiness that it has to it. It does feel very much like a Walking Dead type of book. The three deluxe editions contain the entire 40 issue run of Sweet Tooth. Here's a look at the actual hardcovers, and like I said, really using that flannel, red and black, a lot here. Vines have that similar look, as well as the back of the book here. So we'll just flip through volume one to give you an idea of the artwork. Like I said, I don't want to do any spoilers here, so I'm not going to look at the other uh, deluxe editions. Little crunchy chocolate bar here. 
which uh, you know what? It's funny. They call him Sweet Tooth, but that chocolate stuff, it comes up maybe three times in this whole run. So it's not really that big of a part of the story. And I didn't really get the idea like he liked chocolate that much. So anyway, Gus, he was raised in this cabin in the woods. He seemingly hasn't interacted with anybody except for his father. And his father has always kind of told him, listen, no matter what happens to me, if I get sick, you can never leave these woods. So he, he spent his whole life there. His father uh, does succumb to the sickness and he starts venturing out of the woods. And that's how he runs into Jeopard. Now, it's dangerous for hybrids outside of the woods because obviously humans are trying to figure out what's going on with the hybrids. Is there a cure somehow for this disease? And it can make it very dangerous because there are militias out there who are experimenting and dissecting hybrids and just doing a lot of cruel things. They also have pregnant women captive because, like I said, uh, they're giving birth to these hybrids. So flipping through the art style here. Uh, there are like two main uh, antagonists in this story. One of them I don't even want to mention because it's a pretty big twist. But the first one would be this guy from the militia, like I mentioned. I really do like the lore of this universe. You know, again, no spoilers. But when we figure out where the plague comes from, I like it, man. I, I like where Jeff Lemire took it. Uh, like I said, there's some violence here. So definitely not for kids. But there's betrayal here, there's great relationships here, and there's an interesting story that's being told throughout this book. There goes the chocolate again. Alright guys, so that was my non-spoiler review of Sweet Tooth. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Does it make you want to read it? Have you been watching the show? Uh, I'm staying away from spoilers because, man, this is one of those books where the ending... Uh, hits so hard. It's such an emotional ride with this book. And I really did enjoy the ending. I thought it really paid off and, and it was a great way to end the series. I'm very interested in reading the new ongoing, or I don't know if it was a mini series or an ongoing, but there is some kind of newer, uh, newer Sweet Tooth book that's out right now. Anyway, that's all you guys got to do to be entered into our Spider-Man premium format giveaway. Be subscribed to the channel, leave a like on the video, leave a comment below. Once we reach the milestone, we'll go live the following Sunday, pick a random video where I promoted the giveaway because I promoted this in quite a few videos, and then we'll use a random YouTube comment generator to draw a worldwide winner. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to check out my other recent reads in the playlist to the right. I also have the new Comic Book Day reviews, my statue unboxings, and more. Stay minty fresh. Peace.